Alright guys, so <clears throat> I've never done a video like this, just kind of talking to you guys, giving you guys like a, a heads up of what's going on or letting you guys know something that happened in my life. So this one's kind of going to be like story time and an update. Um, I'm with Chow, clearly. Uh, we're going, we bought a couple things. So right now is a weird time. We're in Las Vegas, it's quarantine, it's the whole coronavirus thing, as you guys are very well aware. Um, in Las Vegas, people aren't taking it very serious. Um, look, 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 it is right there watching me. Post stay home, fool. Post stay home, fool. Um, I, uh, <laughs> so, um, what I'm getting at is, uh, coronavirus is, is a serious thing. It's really happening. The whole quarantine and Another stuff one. like that. Um, if you don't need to go outside of your house, don't stay home. Be safe. Um, and then other than that, um, we'll get into the story time thing. So, wear a mask wherever you go. Uh, yeah, that hurts. Ow. I got one too. I just didn't want to wear it for the video because I didn't want, I didn't want you guys to say I was like trying to be easy buster or anything, but, uh, yeah, so, yep. <clears throat> all right, so I bought something. This has been kind of, I think now like a month, month and a half ago, I bought this item, this thing. Um, it's very un unlike me. Um, a lot of people don't think that I would fit or it's like not like, doesn't fit me, but um, I bought something. So as you can tell by the thumbnail of this video, it's a big item. Um, we're gonna go, we're gonna run our errands, and then when, when we get around back to the store, I'm gonna show you guys what it is that I bought, because I have to take it home. Hey, yeah. Oh, Chow's gonna kill us. All right. Huh. If we, oh, don't, if we don't die, I'll tell you guys the story. All right, so we just got on the freeway. As you guys see, it's kind of empty, but there's definitely still cars out, people still driving around. Um, I've seen people post, you need to go the other way, Chow. What would you do if, like, you didn't? Bro, I don't go anywhere. I stay home all day. I really don't go anywhere. Um, Alright, so this freeway is going to take us over by the strip, but we're not going to go onto the strip. We have to pass the strip to get to the place that we're going. But, um... We, um... I've seen a lot of people on Instagram and stuff post videos and... Um, their cities are super, super empty. Nobody on the road, no one walking. People like houses all boarded up. People like yeah, stuck in the people, house. People have around, they're at home watching Netflix. All, all American. Good all, show, guys. All American on uh, Netflix. 1010 recommend. Yep. Chow's favorite show. Um, I would leave the camera up here, but it keeps falling down. Chow drives a little crazy, you know? Um, oh, the road. Yeah. So, um, those of you guys that know me know I'm 30 years old. I've never drank. I've never smoked. I've never done hookah. Never popped a pill. Like I do. I do. Oh. <laughs> As you see, his uh, what is that thing? Puff bar Puff thing. Puff bar, whatever. Um. So, of course, I've been around it. Whatever. I've just chose not to do it growing up. And my mom was super strict growing up, magnet high school, like stuff like that. So I had to get good grades to travel around race BMX, the stuff that I like to do. So therefore I kind of was a good kid and then I just didn't want to taste alcohol because I didn't want to know what it tastes like or how it made you feel because then um, I would know why people all do it all the time, stuff like that. Well, anyways, the reason I have to give you guys that backstory because it goes along with this. So by now, I'm sure you guys have figured it out. If not, I'm gonna show you by the end of this video. I bought a Mini Cooper, not just any Mini Cooper. I bought like a super Mini Cooper. It's like tiny, it's lowered, the wheels are like cambered. Um, it's, it's like, it's a cool little like, you, you look at the car, you can't be mad. It's silver and black, it looks dope. It, it looks like the whole car scene type vibe. Um, I bought it on accident. Um, I know you guys are going to be like, how do you buy a car in an accident? Yeah, yeah, yeah. But um, the car was posted for $4,000. I was just kind of like wanted to go test drive the car, see if I liked it. I had one way back when, but I didn't keep it that long. That's a whole nother story. But um, I had one before and I liked it. It's fun. It's like a go-kart on the street. You could do like, you know, you just, it's, it's literally a go-kart. A bumpy compared, car. A 
bumper car. A bumper car. There you, you go. said bump it car. Yeah, bumper car. They like <laughs> bump each other. Yeah. So um, the other one was fun. I don't know. It was just like I was bored a month and a half ago. This car popped up. Somebody tagged me. Thought that it was mine. It looked just like my previous one. I'm gonna pop photos up on the screen of the one that I used to have, and then now the one that I bought. Plus, I'm gonna show you guys in this video. But um, yeah, I went. The kid was asking four thousand dollars. I was like, "What's the best you could do?" He's like, "Lowest I'll take is twenty five hundred." Then I was like, "Well, damn, got a fifteen hundred dollar discount just by one text message, huh?" I wonder how well I can get it. So then I went there. I test drove the car. There was a bit of issue like while we were test driving. I offered him fifteen hundred. He said he couldn't do it. Twenty three hundred would be his lowest. So then at that point, I was just kind of like over it. I was like, "I'll give you two k," and he said yes. So I kind of like, since I made the offer and he agreed to the offer, I kind of felt obligated to buy it. That's how I bought it on accident. Um, I really just wanted to go feel it out, test drive the car, and then kind of make him wait because I felt like I could have got it cheaper. But once I threw out the number and he said yes, I felt obligated to give him the money. So I went ahead, I bought the car. Oh, okay. flake. Band LA, Vegas sneakerheads, biggest flake right here. <laughs> um, so, I buy this car, Chow helps me, he drives my Escalade for me, I drive the Mini. The same night I buy it, maybe an hour after that, I go to the movies, downtown Summerlin. I go, I get there. Oh, sidebar, I didn't go, I took his Escalade to do something else. Yeah, he took my Escalade to go hang out with some other people that don't like me. They're probably not going to watch this video, but it is what it is. Um, and uh, yeah, so he joyride around in the Escalade, I drove the Mini Cooper, I went to go, go to the movies, and when I got to the movies, the... Um, I was like 15 minutes late, yep, the Mini Cooper, it's, you know, it is what it is, I was too busy playing around with it, what I was I late off? to the movie, uh, you need to get off on Las Vegas Boulevard like you're going to Town Square. Okay. So then, um, I get to the movie too late, they lock the doors, it was the last showing of the night, whatever. Okay, cool, I walk back out, get in the Mini and go to start it, Oop, nothing, doesn't start, I'm like, oh man just bought this thing it's already broken like what a waste i didn't even really want to buy it oh man so i play around with it open the hood mess around get it to start okay cool great then i go to dinner go meet some friends at herbs and rye to have dinner we go we have a good dinner everything's fine while chow's still hitting me up telling me how he's riding the escalate around <laughs> he's at the las vegas sign making tiktoks he's doing all this crazy <laughs> stuff in my car and the people that don't like me are driving around in my car with Chow. Hmm. They would never be in my car if I was there, but since Chow's there, it's my car. It's okay. They're going to go ahead and use 2020 it. 2020 hit different. Yeah, hit something. All right. So, um, anyways, we go to Herbs and Rye. We have dinner. Herbs and Rye is like a steakhouse place that is kind of like industry. So, after midnight, it's half off steaks. So, you can go get like a 10-ounce filet for like... 26 bucks, something like that. And don't go either, guys. I'll give you the run. <laughs> I, I think it's pretty good. I haven't had any issues with it. But tomato, tomato, potato, potato. So we go, we have herbs and rye, whatever. We're leaving. It's on Sahara and like Valley View. We go, I pull out, I go, I make a, a U turn on Sahara, start going up Sahara. I'm not kidding you. By the time I get to the next light, I'm the only car on the street. Nobody else is on the street. By the time I get to the next light, there's a police officer 10 feet behind me in an SUV, and he's like in between two lanes, and somebody was with me in my car, and I'm like, hey, heads up, we're getting pulled over. And they're like, oh, don't say that, we're not getting pulled over. And I was like, I'm telling you, we're getting pulled over. They're like, no, you're just paranoid. I have nothing to be paranoid for. I don't, you know, I don't do anything bad, whatever. Yep, sure as shit, light turns green, start going, whoop, whoop, pull me over, I pull over. Here's where it gets interesting. <laughs> Alright guys, sorry. Had a couple things to take care of. Some, a couple errands real quick to run. But, um, alright, so moral of the story. I, we're getting pulled over. That's what's, I'm like 100% sure that's going to happen. Light turns green, we go. Boom. Boop, boop. Cop pulls us over. Um, okay, so I'm 30 years old. Never drank, never smoked, everything. I know I'm reiterating the same point. So the cop comes up to the car. Keep in mind, me, bigger dude, you know, whatever, little Mini Cooper, and it's like lowered, super loud exhaust, everything like that, and we go, the cop's like, like, 
license registration. So I literally just bought the car the same day. So I had the bill of sale, I had the title, I gave him that kid's registration, that kid's insurance, his plates were still on the back. Don't even know the kid, so I don't know if the car is legit, it's stolen. Like, I'm just thinking the worst is about to happen right now. So this cop comes, asks me questions, I give him the stuff, he goes back to the car, I'm like, all right, I'm getting a ticket. Um, I forgot to mention, he said, do you know why I'm pulling you over? And I was like, no. He said that I swerved in my lane. Well, it's a go-kart, like I said, so kind of like when I drive it, I'm kind of like playing around, so I'm like, ring, ring, like, like going back and forth, and then like it's front wheel drive, so if you turn the wheel a little bit, it like yanks. So anyways, he's like, you swerved in your lane a little bit, and then um, the speed limit's 35, you were driving 25. And I looked at him like, bro, are you serious? Um, yeah, he said I was doing under the speed limit, and I was like, bro, the light's red, that I simply was just, I kind of like took off whenever I did the U-turn, and I kind of was just like coasting, put it in neutral, and cruising to the uh, stoplight. But I was like, all right, whatever. So at this point, he runs my shield. I'm like, all right, cool. He's either going to give me a ticket or he's not. So I was hoping for not. Then he comes back, opens the door. He's like, sir, have you been drinking? I was like, nope, I have not. He said, you just came from, you said you came from dinner. You came from a steakhouse. I said, yeah. He goes, well, what'd you have at the steakhouse? I said, steak. He kind of was like, no, sir, to drink. I said, Pepsi. He's like, hmm, really? And I'm like, yeah, really? He goes, I smell alcohol in the car. I was like, bro, come on. The person that I was with had been drinking. They were pretty intoxicated. Um, so maybe that was it. I don't know. Anyways, he proceeded to ask me to step out of the car. He had me stand next to the car, said that he was going to go do a series of tests. Made me go up to his cop car, made me put my hands on his little like push bar thing on the SUV. And then from there, he, uh, he pretty much told me he was going to give me... Um, the whole alcohol test, uh, whatever. So I thought I was gonna have to walk in a straight line, everything. At this point, it was pretty chilly in Vegas. I had no jacket on. I, I don't tend to usually wear a jacket. And um, I I was like, come on, dude. And in my in my head, I'm like thinking like, what if I fail this? I'm sober. I've never drank and I'm, I might fail this test. Like it's cold. I don't know what he's gonna do. What if he's like one of those cops? Like, you know, People always think that like, cops are out to get them or planting fake evidence, stuff like that. I'm thinking, what if he says I fail and I didn't really fail? Um, so he has me stand. He stands on the curb. I stand on the on the out, on the street, and then he's having me look up at him and he's having me follow his finger. He's like, "Sir, put your hands at your side." So I do it, and he's like, "All right, sir, follow my finger, just my fingertip. Do not move your neck. Do not move your head. Keep your head straight. Just use your eyes to follow." And I'm like, "Okay." Then he's like, all right, sir, follow. And then he goes back the other way. Then he comes back halfway, stops, goes back to the middle, goes far, comes back. <clears throat> then all of a sudden he's like, sh shoots up. And I know for a fact, I was like, like, I know that I looked up because it was just like human nature. I'm like, whoa, okay, that is really quickly. And I, I just felt that I looked like I was probably drunk and I, I didn't take it serious. And I was like, oh, sh like I'm about to go to jail or get arrested or get put in a cop car over some stupid me driving a Mini Cooper that I just bought. And this guy doing a, a, a test on me to see if I was intoxicated or not. Anyways, he did it for like maybe a minute and 20 seconds. And it was like it felt like two hours. And then he goes and tells me, OK, you passed. So then me being the the kind of like smart ass that I am, I'm like, okay, so that's how you guys test people if they've been drinking. He goes, yeah, we can do the walking test and stuff like that. He goes, but this is the most accurate. If you're intoxicated, your eyes jump. But if you're, if you're not intoxicated, your eyes can follow your finger smoothly. And I was like, okay, cool, fair enough. Then uh, he gives me my stuff back and I was like, hey, by the way, like I bought that car today. That's why I gave you the bill of sale and stuff. I wasn't sure if the car was good or not. He's like, no, it came up clean. Everything's good. And I was like, all right, dope. And I was like, oh, well, you know, now that I'm good to go, that place that I went to, Herbs and Rye, that I told you I went to dinner, you guys should go check it out. It's happy hour after midnight. And he's like, looks at me like this idiot. And I'm like, no, 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 not happy hour drinks. Like, I mean, I, there probably are drinks on there, but happy hour steak, half off steaks after midnight. He had another cop show up earlier before the test. So he had backup and whatever. And, um, yeah, the cop like kind of laughed. He was like, yeah, he, he was going to get you for drinking or whatever. And I was like, no, nah, I was just telling you guys half off steaks, whatever. And he's like, oh, okay, cool. We'll have to check it out. Hey, look, buff. I've been doing a lot of push-ups. This quarantine hit different. 
So, um, anyways, that's pretty mm. much the story. Um, mm. I just wanted to let you guys know I've never encountered or had anything like that. I've definitely never taken an in, like a test to see if I'm intoxicated. I've never even took a sip of alcohol. But now the rest of this video, I'm going to show you guys the mini, some B-roll of the mini. Oh my God! That is a word of flums. Press going up. He loves flums. It's like his favorite shoe. No, it's not my favorite shoe. I love when she wears it because price going up. He loves Kylie. Oh, yeah. He's DM'd her like six, seven times. She's never DM'd back. He's just waiting for the day she even reads it. But that's it for this video, guys. I'll let you guys check out the mini. Thank you so much. We've got a couple She's in the more... hot tub right now. Should I join her? Please do. Yeah. We've got a couple more videos coming. Oh, she turned off the message thing on me. I can't message her no more. <laughs> oh. <laughs> we, um... Got a couple more videos. I've I've had a bunch of stuff filmed. I haven't put it out. Then the stores closed, and then ever had to move everything and set up everything online. Whatever. I'm gonna knock those videos out for you. There's gonna be this video. There's going to be a All Star Weekend in Chicago video. There's going to be a giving away 150 boxes of Travis Scott cereal to the less fortunate, the homeless video. And then I think we're gonna get into my personal shoe collection. And then I think from there we should be all caught up. Thank you guys. Appreciate you. Make sure you like, comment, subscribe. I'm out. What we got right here, Chow? Shit, it's off-roading Mini Coop. Off-roading Mini Coop.